Hello, folks. Welcome to the third episode of the second season of the weekly wrap-up on WRPS. I'm Ben Carpini alongside James Lavasser. Five brand new cards, all of them hockey to show you today. So, as always, we are just going to jump right in. In. So to start off today, we have Mr. Ryan Getzlaff. Now, Ryan Getzlaff, as far as statistical stuff, I'm going to hand it off to James. He'll get you guys started today. But James, what is this card's uh, number background that we're looking at today? All right, so Ryan Getzlaff, he was drafted the 19th pick in the first round of the 2003 draft. He's played 1,000... 157 games. He scored 282 goals with 737 assists for a total of 1,019 points. Uh, for a center like Ryan Getzlaff, I would have expected more out of him for how many games he's played in uh, goals, but uh, he's still very a lot of points at that over 1,000 points. Uh, he's won one Stanley Cup with the Anaheim Ducks in the 2006-2007 season, and he's only played for the Anaheim Ducks. James, I will say I was surprised when I found out how small his goal count was. And I mean, still a thousand point scorer. So definitely, you know, among some of the better NHL players that have, you know, put on a sweater for the for a team. But not not as much as I would have uh, personally expected. But if we're going to talk about the card itself, kind of filling in for Danny's role, this is an upper deck authentic fabrics card. So this is definitely a, a nicer card. I like the upper deck. Pretty much every card that I see I like by upper deck. Um, game use patch, you'll notice that if you look on the card on the very front, it says game use or game worn. Um, this is numbered 33 out of 35, and I, I really like the coloring on this jersey. It's consistent with that Ducks uh, color jerseys that they had in this picture, which is from the 2011-12 season. But the coloring on it's very nice. The authentic jersey patch I think is very cool. I'm going to go ahead and give this jersey, I think, an 8.5. Ryan Getzlaff is a 1,000-point scorer, very good NHL player, but the card itself is just a nice-looking card. It's pleasing to look at. There's not too much going on without it being overwhelming. So, yeah, 8.5 I think is a fair rating. James, how about you? I really like the card. I agree with you, Ben. I think I'm going to have to give this the same rating, an 8.5 out of 10. Uh, I think with Ducks jerseys, it's kind of like uh, hit or miss with the jerseys because of their logo, but I'd say this is one of my favorite. Ducks jerseys and with the patch it just yeah that's my rating Ben. So moving off this Ryan gets laugh card we are going to go over now to Mr. Paul Statsny. Now I'm just going to send this one right to you James what can we talk about numbers wise? All right so the son of Hockey Hall of Famer Peter Stastny quickly made a name for himself in the NHL in 2006-2007 with a 20 game point streak for the Colorado Avalanche. A league record for a rookie at 21 Stastny was the third youngest player in NHL history with a streak that long trailing only Wayne Gretzky and Mario Lemieux. Uh, drafted second round in the 14th pick of the 2005 draft. He's had 1,145 games played, 293 goals, with 529 assists for a total of 822 points. What do we got for the card, Ben? Well, James, I'll say, just talking about the player himself, this, he's a very impressive young man. But Paul Stastny, this is an upper deck, sig upper deck signatures patch right there. You'll notice that the uh, you got the patch on there. There's not really too much to look at on the patch itself, but the signature is pretty clean. I think this is another example where the coloring goes really well. You have the the maroon avalanche color at the bottom, and I think that just kind of complements the coloring well. Uh, but you'll notice that's a pretty cool picture that they got. I like the silver. It's got a metallic kind of look to it. So this is definitely one of the nicer looking cards. I'm going to give this one, I'll say an 8.5 uh, to just kind of, give it the same rating as last time. James, what about you? Uh, I'm going to give this card a 9. I'm going to go one-up you there, Ben. Uh, I really like how the Avalanche jersey looks. I feel like the Avalanche jerseys, they do have pretty good jerseys. Uh, I really like how the card looks. So, yeah, that's my rating, Ben. So, moving off of Statsy, we're going to go on now to our third card of the day, and that is Mr. Daniel Girardi. Now, New York Ranger right there, you can see on the very front, and I'll get into how this card looks in just a moment. James, how are we looking on this card statistically? Uh, I couldn't really figure out much about Daniel Girardi. He did go undrafted, but he signed as a free agent uh, by the New York Rangers of July 1st, 2006. He's a defenseman. Uh, he's played 927 games, 56 goals scored, 208 assists. 208 assists, sorry about that, for a total of 264 points. Uh, and he's only played for the New York Rangers and Tampa Bay Lightning. With the points, uh, he's a defenseman, so obviously the assists will outweigh the goals. Um, but with how many games he's played, I feel like this is another player today that I feel like he could have done more. Uh, what do you think, Ben? Um, well, I would have to agree with you on that, that he's not really a super big name, Daniel Girardi. But if we're going to talk about the way that this card looks, it's, it's kind of bare. And I'll say that you got the red patch right there. The New York Rangers... Their jerseys aren't super red, so I, I am not entirely sure what part of the jersey they got this from, but uh, not so much going on here. It's it's a little bit bland in my opinion. It's an upper deck rookie patch card, so it's it's still pretty cool to have, but you got the signature right there. The, the 
picture is definitely a little bit dated and you can tell just by the kind of almost graininess that I see from this angle at least. But this is another pretty cool card. I'm going to stand today with an 8 on this card. 8 solid. James, how about you? I like the player. I like what he's all about. I, I expected more out of him. Just with the card and how it looks, I... Again, with the red, like with, with what you said, what part of the jersey did they get that from? I feel like with the metallic look, it kind of reminds me of the Paul Stastny card that we just saw. Um, I feel like it went better with the Paul Stastny card than with uh, Daniel Girardi I and agree. the jersey he's wearing. Uh, so I'm going to have to give this a 7 out of 10. Moving off now of this Girardi card, this Boston fans like myself are going to be pretty happy with this one. Moving now onto a combo card of Tim Thomas and Zdeno Chara. Both of these players, by the way, uh, is picturing from the 2011-2012 season. James, if we're going to talk about numbers, what can you give me? All right, so starting off with Tim Thomas, 426 games played, 214 wins, 31 shutouts, 2.52 goals against average, uh, 920 save percentage. He's won one Stanley Cup, one Conn Smythe, two Vesna trophies, and a William M. Jennings trophy. Um, went through that pretty quick just because we've already talked about him before he's been on the show. Uh, same with Zidane Ochara, uh, drafted the fourth pick in the third round of the 1996 draft. He's played 1,680 games, 209 goals, 471 assists for 680 points, one Stanley Cup, uh, one James Norris Memorial Trophy, and one Mark Messier NHL Leadership Award Trophy. Uh, not a lot of goals and points. I mean, there's still a decent amount, but I feel like Zane Ochara made up with that with his physicality. I definitely enjoyed seeing uh, Chara and hearing Jack Edwards' commentary on the Nesson uh, with the fights. Uh, what do you think, Ben? Uh, well, I can, I can definitely agree with you that these are two very important Boston Bruins players. And Zdeno Chara at six foot nine. a lot of people think he should have been a basketball player instead, but Slovakia, of course, basketball hasn't really taken off quite there yet. Zdeno Chara instead decided to play professional hockey. But these are two, car, uh, two players who are very important to the Boston Bruins organization, and they've played pretty recently within the last 15 or so years. I know Tim Thomas and Zdeno Chara helped us win in the 2011 Stanley Cup Finals. Um, but if we're going to look at this card, I personally prefer a card that's a bit more bare than this one. And I'm not looking for something that's empty, but the design here, I think they just kind of put a lot on it that's not, to me, amazing. Um, but this is an upper deck do ultimate duos patches card. So you got the two jersey patches. And one of the things I like about these patches that I didn't like about the Girardi card was you can actually see kind of where they had a number or a name on the patch there. And to me, that's really cool because it just it, it gives it, I think, a, a, a more special feel. Um, but the coloring, you got the blue coloring on there. The Bruins, not a blue team. I don't really understand it that much. Um, so as, if we're going to talk about this card and the way that it looks, I would say a seven. But if we're going to talk about the players that are on it, 9.5 so I'm going to go ahead and give it a middle rating of about 8 we'll say 8.5 just because I'm a Bruins fan but James what are you thinking uh, I'm going to have to give it an 8 uh, I agree with you with the card I think the ultimate duos package um, patches sorry uh, on the top I feel like that kind of ruins the card um when you talked about the blue, I couldn't really, if you could please like point out to me where you saw the blue, I couldn't really. I, I guess it's more of a whiter color, like but wider. you see like right there on the side, and I'm, I'm on, now that I look at it a little bit further, I don't really like the font, uh, if I'm getting nitpicky here. I think it's just, to me, it's it's not amazing. I, I They could have done a better job, I, I think. I definitely agree with you there. There's definitely a lot there, uh, mostly just with the duos and the font, and I feel like they could have placed it out better, um, but yeah, innate is my rating, Ben. All right, moving on to our final card of the day. And another Boston Bruin, not on this card, but did play for the Bruins uh, for quite some time. That is Mr. Tyler Sagan. Uh, James, I'll just hand this one out right off to you. What, are we, what can we talk about with Sagan statistically? All right, for, so his stats for his career so far, second pick of the first round of the 2010 draft, 969 games played, 351 goals, 437 assists for 788 points, uh, one Stanley Cup, and obviously those points will keep going as he continues to play. Tyler Sagan, a, a very well-known NHL player, at least for me personally, I think Tyler Sagan is, is probably one of the NHL players that I'd say if you had to ask me to name a couple of them. Uh, but you'll notice right here, this is um, actually not an upper deck card. This is an in-the-game card, Heroes and Prospects, who I think we've had a couple of Heroes and Prospects cards on the show before. Um, definitely a little bit dated, and you'll notice that, I think, just with Sagan in the OHL jersey right there, and that's from the Plymouth Whalers, who are actually no longer an organization. They've since moved to Flint to be the Flint Firebirds in the OHL, but getting a little bit ahead of myself here. Tyler Sagan on this card, he's wearing the OHL jersey, and it's just just a bit dated. Signature's pretty clean, though. I, I do like this card and the way that it looks, um, but 
I don't know. It's just not really my cup of tea, to be completely honest with you. I'm going to say 7.5, just given that it's an OHL card and you have Tyler Sagan. I, I don't really know, but 7.5 is what I'm feeling on this one, James. How about you? I'm going to have to give this card another 8. I feel like an 8 is kind of like a middle number, you know, not the best, not the worst. Um, that's what I'm feeling with this card. It's not really the best card that I've seen out of, you know, uh, how I've been on the show. Uh, it's not the worst. I've definitely seen worse cards than this, but it's, you know, the OHL jersey. It does look nice, and, yeah, just an eight. That's pretty much all I can say, Ben. All right, James, so that wraps up this episode. This was a pretty quick one, but we do want to thank you again for watching the third episode of the second season of the Weekly Wrap-Up. We want to thank you again for watching. I'm Ben Carpini, alongside Jay Zlavoster, and we will see you again very soon.